just come down off the Barrington Hill now into Apacom Turk and there's a bridge. I don't know if you can see there's a massive trout just sitting in the water number there in front of the stone. It's milling about. So this is the bridge going over to it goes around it's almost like a roundabout really, it's like the road separates and it goes around. There's a huge bloody trout sitting in over there in the water. A lot of people when they come down here. Um, they just drive past this bit. I have no idea. They have no idea that this is here. There's a structure for a bridge up there. And then you got this really, really deep pool. Kids used to jump off this wall into the, the pool. And that's a really, really deep pool. I say you're talking about maybe um, eight, nine feet deep in parts. So, pretty cool. Yes, absolutely stunning. Stunning. I'm watching some uh, trout rising down here now. But, uh, <laughs> everybody just drives past this but nobody uh, ever stops to have a look like it's only the locals really you know the long time locals really know about this beautiful place beautiful they're gonna be see the fish under there yeah over there where it's all worn away like all the metal bars Oh, I can guarantee there's going to be a good, some nice sized trout under there. And found this old iron bridge going across here. Looks like something from the industrial age. This. Key Johnson Limited, England. Look at that. Wow, that's pretty cool. But look at that, uh, like a run up there. Like, that's amazing, that is. Cracking pool number here as well. A stunning place. Hello there, little chaffinch there. Like, God, I've seen the uh, first chaffinch I've seen this year. You see him everywhere. <laughs> Have a look up here now. Have you heard of this place? I haven't actually been here myself, so let's go have a look. Yeah. But it's not properties of properties, qualities of this famous spring water, which gushes forth the local turk is greatly appreciated past generations. People came from far and wide to fill their bottles, such as was their faith in its qualities as a cure for rheumatism, blood impurities, diuretic and gravel disease. In eighteen seventies, Mr D. Thomas Dr. D. Thomas, sorry, if I still have error, sent a sample of the water to be analysed, the results confirmed it was contained. Healing elements and minerals benefit a number of ills and ailments. Look at this. Wow. Isn't that amazing? I knew it was here. I haven't really come to have a good look at it. This is uh, you Welsh. Energy in English. This project has been assisted by the Prince of Wales. Uh, okay. uh, whatever. Oh, hi. The funds provided by the worst Development Agency. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I not any more, So there we go. Banan Kumturk, peace gift. Well, well. Good to thank you, eh? Amazing. <laughs> That's, pretty, that's pretty cool. That play. <laughs> The old uh, viaduct behind um, home bargains in Astalavera, that's again nice in between then. Cracking pool number there, off the bridge, off the road bridge. Yeah, that's a cracking pool up there as well. Just been to um, a couple of charity shops, as I tend to do, and I found a, it is a, Matt Hayes Adventure, 3.3 metre carp rod, carbon. There's a couple of uh, marks on it, but uh, overall it's uh, solid. I uh, won't be using it for carp, obviously, but uh, what a lovely rod to find in a charity shop. 
and a tenner as well, which uh, I more than I'd usually pay for something in a charity shop, but can't fault it. Happy days! This river here, this first bridge, river bridge, is a river called the Guise. Now, apparently, don't quote me on this, but uh, it does say, if you look online, that there's pike in here. They're probably not very big pike, but uh, there we are. I don't know if they got stocked or they've always been here. This is the smaller of the two, the, the Tulk and the Guise. There we are. This is the uh, Barrington Hill. And I'm out of it, do you think you are? God designed this hill to test you. <laughs> it's in between Cumturk and uh, the uh, Cumturk Vet and Astrid Owen. That was a hell of a hill. <laughs> Aye. This hill, luckily no one has. That bastard hill. 